Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle. This is part of the Dividing the Spoils map campaign run by Crown and Plot on the Saloon forums. In this match against Toma Gozen, I have Phrygia versus Syria. Here is the campaign strategic situation. So I'm attacking from Kilikia into Syria. So that's Toma Gozen in Syria. He is being supported from Egypt, number 6, by Dieter. And by Carpen Cam from number nine, that's Mesopotamia. So it's three battles for the one province. If I lose a single battle, I fail to conquer and I lose control of Kilikia. So at a bare minimum, I need to win one and draw two. Okay, so I normally don't do this, but I've got no units of infantry skirmishers and I've gone all in on melee troops including a substantial, expensive cavalry contingent, almost maxed. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Uh, so there is a reason for this. It's a giant, flat nothing. And the only terrain I really have to worry about is this rough ground, for which I have to real Froy. If he hangs back, I can shift one over to meet him in there. Otherwise, we've maxed out on our phalanx, which I believe is still... A little bit smaller than his potentially yeah by one unit and we've got a number of citizen hoplites to fill out the infantry line so we'll try to wrap around the flanks with cavalry and just slam forward with heavy foot and hopefully because he well theoretically will have invested more points in lights than me as in more than zero i will have an advantage in these sort of troops if i close them quickly enough his lights won't have time to really do much before melee contact. Okay, let's see if my gamble pays off here. What have we got? Six units of pike, nine of light foot, and pretty hefty cavalry wings. No elephants, but camelry to disorder my lancers, which is a good choice. So, We'll have to let the infantry lead, the cavalry follow. Four non-light cavalry to my three on that wing. I might want to consider shifting a couple of units over, but I don't know if that's viable. So we can take that rough, and maybe we can spread out our citizen hoplites to support the cavalry. Light horse will just escort us, and let's see. And keep one light javelin horse in the center to try to help support an infantry push to catch some lights. Then we've got to probably lag behind a little bit with our cavalry here given the camel situation. They are unarmored and average though, so I might be able to just slam into them anyway but the infantry should lead the fight. We especially want to hit the Thuriofroi with our phalangites and occupy this rough somehow if we can. Next turn. I assume I will be getting a friendly arrow and sling bullet field reception shortly. Okay, so if he's going to stretch the line, the infantry is going to have to lead the way. Unfortunately, we're going to get slowed down a bit. Very good. It 
let's have the light horse support against the light foot. Try to go far out and distract a unit or two. Next turn. Yeah, now we get shot at. Great. Why don't you go here, block their fallback, and charge? That's fine. Next turn, we'll hammer in with infantry. Cavalry can guard the flanks. bow shot. I eh, can't quite make it through, but we can just hover around and be annoying. So, stay there. Let's do a similar thing here. Charge. And that forces them to stay in contact. Push in with the protomoi and back them with hoplites. Very good. Here we'll push towards the rough. Take some casualties, but that's fine. So, zap a few archers, keep pushing forward. Next turn. Bounce and hold firm. Nice little bonus there. This isn't the greatest thing at all. Just stay in place there. Right, uh, pile in and murder these archers. Then you can fall back. Should have moved this unit first, but whatever and ride. Good. Advance. Drop that unit. Hmm. Push on. Push on. Sure. If they charge, we'll counter charge, so whatever
And in the meantime, make your way to this rough ground. That's fine. They need to stay close and cover that flank. Next turn. Hold. Good. Eh, that's fine. That's good if they're way back there. I mean, to keep that up if we can. Shove them off. Oh, even better. Great, problem solved. You get out of the way. <laughs> I thought for a second, but yeah, that would be a bit, a bit too much to ask for. give them a choice between chasing my lights and confronting the mass of my cavalry. Okay, what to do over here? Well, we push into the rough, really. That should make things a bit awkward for him. Shut them off, they'll evade. Zone them in, and then we can smash. Delightful. Try to start this round. We'll lose this unit, who cares? Maybe not. Hmm. Set up a flank. Not a flank, just a charge. That's fine. Zone them in. Zone in the Zistoforoi. And... Don't want to get too ahead of ourselves in the open ground there. I mean, I'm tempted. If I charge, I might pursue into the rough. That'd be nice. Or I could just pursue and sit here and get murdered. That would be less nice, so we'll stay where we're at. Next turn. Too bad. We need to follow. That rough ground's gonna mess us up. Who rallied? Citizen Hoplites, great. 
Yeah, keep distracting three units. That's fantastic. Try to get behind with you. And it is time to close in. Shove him. Not quite a catch. Great, then we force a drop. <laughs> Interesting. Pile on there. Go for impact. Not good enough. We'll lose the unit here. Yeah, hold firm. You're my ass. Oh well. Uh, zone them in and support the calf. All right. Next turn. It's a healthy star, but we might be you know, looking at some frags here. 
No, not quite. They formed square. That is not a bad thing. Bounce that. Good. And... Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Now hold that. Good. Will not let you prevent this flank, no matter what. Interesting. That's not terrible. Interesting. What can we do with that? Uh, I think we can use his light foot to speed our advance. Good. Then you get the hell back in there. What do you think you're doing? Get the drop. And... Held firm. They are veterans after all. That's fine. Push in and arc around, even though it's painfully slow. Zone them out. And what? Push forward as well, or help out? Next turn, if we don't immediately get killed, we can charge. Veteran versus veteran. Why don't we... Uh, I don't know if I care about the cavalry. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Here, zone them out. And... Next turn, if he lets me... Uh, that is not the best view. What we'll do is... Uh, charge him with the light javelin horse and then flank him. I don't know if that's possible, we'll see. Great, prepared to join in the push there. Who's in a square? You're in a square, but just you. Okay. Let's uh, smash in. They hold firm, that's fine. Press forward. Nope, you're gonna turn to face because we need Durios to push over to that side and take that rough ground. You shove them off. You finish that. Close enough, hopefully. Now in the meantime, Probably lose this unit. Probably still lose them, is my guess. Here we go. And let's threaten both with flanks. What to do? Pretty awkward. Could charge here, and then he'd have to cover with Duryofroy. Oh, that would do me much good, though. Hold on and wait. Next turn. Oh, come back. Hmm. Bounce it, please. Which way will they go? I'm trying to go for a flank. Fragging here could be bad. Oh. 
Just hold firm. Good. Excellent. Uh, try for a charge there. No. Damn. Okay, well, maybe they'll evade the hoplites. And catch that unit. That's something. Smash into the hoplites. Good. Start working your way ever so slowly around. They're fragged. Okay, let's see here. We can clip one of these units. Let's do that one. Wow, that was deeply underwhelming. Okay. Good. Now we can shove that unit off. This is awkward. Okay. General up here. Try to win that melee. Unsuccessfully. Well, we've rallied here, although we're also close to auto breaking. Good. What if we general up? Held firm. Too bad. Sand around then. Huh. could be bad because he has four units to three. He could find a way through. So we need to shift you over in there. Yes. Right, these camels. Shove them away. <laughs> Very amusing. Okay, then set up a flank on that camelry. Next turn. Ah, we're off, damn. Get away. <laughs> That is going to be a problem. Auto break, do we frag? That's the question. No, good. Come on, damn. Okay, he sees my weakness here. Setting up a flank there. Yep, I don't know if I can prevent that. Good. Not a great turn, but it could have been worse. 
defrag them. He's got a hold here. Okay. Um, who needs inspiration? Well, let's consider that. Well, first we get easy drop here. Held firm. Huh. Set up a flank. I hate to do this, but we're going to have our Zista Fodoi follow his, because I think we're going to need to do that. Hopefully somebody falls back, you know. Hmm. Okay, so... We're gonna have to turn here, I think. And that should cover us from the worst of it, then we can general up there to speed things up, speed this up with phalanx impact, disrupt, hold firm here, pile in. Good. Go for a break. That works. This is an awkward position for you to be in, so goodbye. Prodromoi can cover this flank in case he tries to loop around. You can stand there, that's fine. It's not ideal, but it'll do. And pile and try to speed things up here. Do we charge? Or we can get shot at. Yeah, I suppose we don't really have a choice. Oh. Cool. Next turn, unfortunately, we're going to get hit by an auto dropping flank here. And very bad things here. The whole right wing could actually cave in this turn. It wouldn't take much in the way of bad luck, either. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, you're absolutely trash. So now we go from having a very secure hold on this rough ground to, well, no hold at all. At least we held it disrupted for now. Ugh. Well done. Well done. Oh, that was just, oh, so hideous. Let's uh, zone them in with Duryo Floy. Keep, uh, hit that drop again, seeing as they were rude enough to rally. Great, I want that unit finished now. You might need to plug gaps here. Held firm, held firm. Uh huh. Impressive.
Okay, that buys us one turn of time, which is very valuable at this stage, honestly. Let's keep working this cavalry around all the way back there. I don't know if they'll get there in time, but you never know. Need to keep you here covering the flank. Unfortunately, we're 1% short of a win. Next turn. <laughs> I did say they might be coming back. So that's likely to draw things out for us. pursuing so it's minus 50% casualties from archery and the like so really not worried about that that is more concerning though so is that okay come on excellent Well, turn around and start moving. Try to shove them off and see where they end up. They're on low ammo, so I'm going to say, who cares? Push over this way. Can we force a drop here? Unfortunately, no. So push forward then. And again. And zone them in. Grab a drop on the Triofroy. And while that looks like victory, it's not because of this situation. We're going to have to square here and uh, I believe if we general up here, it'll give us the extra cohesion for our general within four tiles fighting. I'm not sure though, we can find out. Yeah, general in line of command. For what, Pike Phalanx 17? No? No, we're out of the range, I suppose. Fair enough. See if we fall back here. We don't. Zone them in. Flick to some casualties. Prepare a flank. If we don't insta-break, we can drop those camels. Why don't we... Probably just evade. Just be here, be annoying. Push them along. They'll probably rally to disrupt it is my guess. Oh! <laughs> that was a miscue. I was trying to get the uh, tooltip to come up and failing to do so. So that could have gone horribly wrong, but it didn't, so cool. Next turn.
They fall back. Now, if we don't insta break, which we don't, let's bounce that. Good. Right, they're in square, which means they don't exert a zone of control, so we can force a drop. Well, we might as well pile in. I mean, great. What happens if we do that? Stood their ground. They're in the rough. Zone them out. General up. Threaten them. Force a check. Nice. Shift over. Good. Try for a cohesion check. No dice. Keep them off us. Ouch. Yeah, you're dead. Distract that unit. Okay. That has to be game. Okay, we've reached the end. See if anything happens in this phase. Done. And you know, this is a pretty simple case of winning through uh, winning the army composition guessing game. Basically, looking at this terrain, I didn't feel like uh, a disadvantage in skirmishers was a huge deal because you couldn't stand off in good terrain and just shoot me down as I sat there. I did suffer a little bit on my right wing, but Durio Fonoy in particular got shot up pretty badly. But Overall, he put more points into lights than he ended up breaking with them. And it pretty severely weakened his main fighting line. And the result, of course, is this. I mean, I just had more units than he had to actually fight with in melee. Uh, there's also a little bit of micro shenanigans that helped me win on this wing. But this is kind of a wash, you know. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, simply a matter of not investing at all in light infantry. If I invested, say, I don't know, in six units, six to eight units of light infantry would have cost maybe 180 points, something like that. That's several units of hard hitting heavy infantry. So whether this battle has a strategic effect in the campaign won't be clear until I've resolved all three again. If I lose a single one of the three battles, I lose the battle and I lose the province. So I have to, at the least, draw the other two matches. So good game to Tomogosen, and until next time.